Welcome to Part 2 of Library Research 101. Let's continue where we left off on Part 1, Step 5. Primo has some awesome tools for saving search and results, but I'll save them for the Primo 101 video. First, let's talk about research logs and source comparison charts. Research logs are a great way to organize your sources, and they can come in many forms. Some people like 3x5 cards, while others prefer a spreadsheet or a document on a computer. You can use a research log to keep track of helpful information for searching, as well as what you search and what sources you found. When doing research, you want to make sure that you have a wide variety of opinions and sources. Here's an example of a source comparison chart. Each column represents a different source, and each row details an important aspect of each resource, such as the author's position on the topic or why the source is important. Our Literature Searching Help Guide has more information on this. The Writing Center and Online Writing Center are available to help. We also have a help guide, Writing with Sources. When you get to Step 9, Creating the Bibliography, Primo has some great built-in citation tools, and our research guides have links to some resources, which can help. Be sure to consult your instructor if you're not sure what citation style to use. In Primo, click on the quote marks anywhere you see them and select your citation style. Most databases also have citation tools and include citations when you email items. Always check machine-generated citations for accuracy. And of course, if you need more help, ask a librarian.